Our mission at Centonomy is to shift mindsets so that purposeful people can create wealth and live abundantly. Now, we understand that wealth and the abundant life are not the same thing. You can have all the money in the world, but no joy, no happiness, no purpose. That's a useless life to have money and none of those other things. And so money is, hey, please don't get so excited yet. Money is also a good thing. I know everyone comes with a different perspective on what wealth is, but if you don't mind for a couple of minutes, I'm going to suggest a definition of wealth that will help us to think differently. I'm not saying this is the only definition of wealth, and I know there are many that are out there in the world. I'm not saying yours is wrong, but for the sake of our meaningful discussion, please write this one down. We believe that wealth is the ability to live the lifestyle that you want without having to work. Now, please, do not misquote me. I did not say you don't have to work. Are we together? Because people usually see this slide and then they say at St. Onomi they teach you not to work. No, 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 no. You'll have to work extremely hard to get to this point where you don't have to work anymore. I'm trying to get you to be specific. If you say you want to travel, tell me where, when, how. Because when you're specific, then you have a goal. If you don't have a goal, then you cannot be held accountable. Neither can you hold yourself accountable. So when we say the ability to live the lifestyle that you want, one of the hardest things that you're going to do is to define what you want. What do you want? I want to start a small church here in Donholm. Good. What size? How many congregants? What do you need in terms of the worship? That's what we're talking about. Because if you don't have a goal, then you can't be accountable to anything. And therefore, you cannot aim you are kind of just flowing. So when people come and ask me, because this is a thing that I know I'm going to be asked later on, Wendaka, which is the best investment? So you want to know, can I tell you? Let me tell you the best investment. Can I give you the secret? Write it down. The best investment is the one that matches your goal. Because there are hundreds and thousands of investments that are out there. But if I don't have a goal, I cannot tell you which one will get you to that goal. Can I give you a quick example so you understand? Number one, if I'm saving for my children's education, school fees, let's say for next term, which is in the next two months or so, which is a, one of the best investments to use, a savings account. Why? Because my goal is short term, right? It's coming up soon. What do I need? Security. And I need what? Access when the time comes. So that when the bus asks me for school fees, I do what? Withdraw and go pay that you have sufficient assets, that your assets can pay you to live your lifestyle whether you show up to work or not. I don't know about you, but that sounds to me like freedom. Where I am not having to go hustle in order for things to happen. But I have assets that are paying me. Now listen, where I started this discussion, I said purposeful people. Purposeful people don't just live no, no lives. I don't know about you if you follow rich people. I do. Like if you look at Bill Gates, one of the wealthiest men in history, go and look at his documentary on Netflix. Right now he has more wealth than his great, great, great grandchildren can ever finish. Okay? But he still wakes up and is solving problems like coronavirus and malaria. And he is solving problems because he is a what? purposeful person. So you're in debt, not because you didn't have money, but because your priorities were shifted. I have to simplify it to this level because people think it's a specific investment that's going to get me to my goal. It is not. It is a discipline in life. So let me just tell you this. That's why you can have very simple people who have never been to school and they're extremely wealthy. Why? Because they lived what? A disciplined life. So if you're looking for the secret, can, have I not given you the secret already? So write this down. Pay yourself first. Pay yourself first means this. You are prioritizing saving and investing. You're asking me how do I pay myself. It is not where you go out on a Friday night. It is by saving and investing, and they're not the same thing. Saving is putting aside cash that you're going to use, all right? 
in an emergency or for a future investment. That is saving. Investing, listen to this carefully, is putting your money where it will grow faster than inflation. Those who make money in real estate, when they buy the land, they already figure out when they are going to cash out. But for so many people, you're holding land that you probably paid more than what it's worth because you are not being strategic. So stop buying land because your parents told you to buy land. When they tell you buy land, ask them why. How do I do it and how do I benefit? Because so many people come into their retirement with a piece of land, but they have no cash. And that's not wealth. So you'll end up many pieces of land. Can I give you another terminology? You end up asset rich, cash poor, and there's no freedom in that. <laughs> 